was that? <laughs> it was pretty long games. No guard vanguard. Fun for everyone. <laughs> so, <laughs> the second deck of how we do today is with my deck, Susana. Oh, um, I oh wanted, original I want, Susana. The original, original Susana, Susana, yeah. Yes. Um, interesting. I wanted to find a new way of playing the deck. Um, playing finger. <laughs> actually, no, no, no. We're, we're still not allowing my, the, the opponents to guard. Huh. We don't have fun here. Okay. Um, <laughs> but I wanted to play, uh, make a deck around him uh, with some new tech choices that I uh, found my inspiration in Spike Brothers for. So um, with the draw power and the way the deck is built, it's really easy to, to get my combo pieces for that certain specific combo. So let's get started. Um, for the Great Trees, we run four of the original. Um, the, ab the ability to, to choose my draw cards is mm -hmm. perfect. Um, I don't like drawing blind. Um, I want to have a certain choice in, well, before, <laughs> before we're uh, adopting a puppy for you, um, <laughs> Um, the fact that I can check top two and decide which card I want makes it uh, a better choice than the uh, the old, the newer Susano. Mm -hmm. um, I can uh, get my stack and the bottom of the deck going um, with other cards as well, and get a certain um, to get a better uh, outcome of the game because I can stack uh, stand triggers on the bottom to get for my go for my ultimate in the late game. I can stack my criticals if I hit them and uh, secure my peer play uh, if needed. Um, yeah, his GV2 skill is not really that necessary, but the fact that he can stack my deck is pretty impressive for a unit that's almost three years old. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Grandpa. Grandpa, yeah. Grandpa Susan. Well, to assist him, we have his sister, Amaterasu. Um, I can. Grandmother. No. <laughs> No, 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 the brother and sister. Mm -hmm. I'd chip it. Oh. <laughs> Incest uh, is Wincess? Maybe. <laughs> um, still a kid's game. Still <laughs> oh, a kid's yeah. game. Oh well, that's not what the anime told us. Um, but yeah, on right, get a marker. Uh, really helps in the, match, <laughs> in the mirror matchups. Um, her auto ability is sometimes useful at, at on the rearguard circle, but usually I don't play her on rearguard. I might think about bumping her up to three because I found the lack of protect markers in my hand in the mirror match really, uh, yeah, hindering. Would that be three on three, or would you play just an extra grade three? Uh, I would play an extra grade three. Okay. Um, Smart decision. Because we have Victoria's there. Mm -hmm. Nothing to explain. Actually. Nah, you just don't want to ride him in the early game. If you ride him, it's okay. You still get the protect marker. Uh, normally, the first unit that you want to ride is actually Amaterasu. If you Sometimes. go first, if you go first, then if, it's... if I go first, Amaterasu, and that's yeah. why I want then you to bump it up. Then I rewrite, secure yeah. one card in the soul, and yeah. sometimes, uh, yeah, secure the second copy of uh, Susana O with mm -hmm. Stride Folder, or be lucky enough to draw it because uh, we can stack the deck. And two victorious deer just to get the critical, the powers, the salt. People hate it. when people hate it. Nothing really to add, actually. Go to Ultima, then activate Furious Deer. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you're... To, to fuck yourself up and put two crits on top and the stand <laughs> goes to the bottom. <laughs> well, I think it will be uh, interesting to explain why certain people got killed in the event. For Grade 2s, two Promised Daughter. Um, I like her for being a beat stick, but for the rest of the build, it's not really necessary to bump her up to three or even four. Uh, for the stacking abilities, uh, three Sotorime. Counter best one attacks, draw a card, check top, uh, and discard one. It gains power and it can chop, uh, check the top card of the deck afterwards. So you can provide yourself with some foresight uh, when your fingered attacks or when your upcoming turn hits. Or your defense. Both of us like. <laughs> On point. <laughs> On point. Um, same region I play this girl. What's it pronounced? Uh, no, no, say. Good enough. Um, the fact that she can hit an early game uh, to provide me with some extra cards, uh, send another card back to the bottom of the deck. Yeah, Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> Difference, um, newbie. <laughs> yes. Oh, did they master for uh, 
two years. Enthusiast. Enthusiast. Let's give it a Um So yeah. Um, she can hit for numbers when my GB2 is active. So in the first try, she can hit for decent columns. Uh, when she hits, she provides me with an extra draw and I can send one other card back to the bottom of the deck. So that comes in handy for the late game. Sometimes I prefer to, uh, to send a, a trigger on purpose just for the late game. Then the card that everyone hates, Silent Hobbit <laughs> 4. Um, I really, I actually really hate him. The fact that he doesn't allow... <laughs> it's just so stupid. Yep. Yes. Did, it was stupid then? It was stupid now. It's stupid, stupid now. now. <laughs> no, no, no. They, they actually made it more stupid because before you couldn't... They made you, you, can, you were only blocking grade zeros and... Now with with everything. still water, that was no no problem because yeah. still water did the same thing. I, I, now I, they gave they, they gave him steroids and a new yeah. rifle, and now and, he can. And remember the use. restriction list that we did, didn't go. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm hey, we got one. It was, yeah. it was an empty. It was an empty one. I'm not it's complaining. Okay. It's the, the delicious tears. Um, for grade ones, that way. The tech the tech choice tier. I will show you the combo in the... Only one? Only one for Really? Now. Really? You you played the whole deck around having tier in here, you play only one? I don't need more. Um, <laughs> End up with the damage on first damage. <laughs> <laughs> Never happened until now. But... Um, Next match. <laughs> <laughs> might, be, it might be an issue in the future. Hey, hey, hey. I do have more of him, so... Of it. So if I find issues when... Uh, some consistency issues with this card, I will bump it up. The card that will most likely leave the deck is... Chicken. Chicken! That became a daddy. No. No, no, no. it became a meme. <laughs> it's Mega Ultra Chicken. No, mm -hmm. Nothing can change that. Um, it was a hero during my standard matches, it's a hero in my pre premium matches. And that's why it would leave. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> heroes retire. Mm -hmm. Yes, heroes need to retire and only one is needed. Because it's already six cards with Soul Blast 2. Um, Stillwater Soul Blast is one. Um, Deer Soul Blast is two great trees. And I don't want to have too much of that. Okay. Otherwise... Uh, Understandable. Hmm? Tears for uh, Understandable. Yeah. Well, tears for fears, you know. <laughs> this brings the fear. He is the tear. Um, <laughs> Yet another different tech choice, the Battle Sister Perfect Guard. Mm -hmm. um, I don't want to play gambling with the uh, Oracle PG. The fact that I have you don't to... have him in SP. <laughs> That's the reason. No, no, no. I don't want to gamble. Mm -hmm. the, the fact that I need to do basically a dice roll to, to decide which card is leaving my hand um, is really unfavorable because I'd like to secure a certain place for the next turn. Um, if I'm really in a pinch and I need to protect myself, I can drop her. Um, if I already have her in the drop zone, I can draw a new card. Sometimes it saves games and other times it's useless. <laughs> story of the deck. Two Geminis the because story I of don't... your life. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, that, that was not getting triggers. No, no that was not getting triggers. Only getting triggered. Um, only two Geminis because we run tier and if tier fails, Gemini is always an option. Um, and it's 8k and a 10k guardian, so why not? Then I play 3 for uh, the Magus. Yeah, this is a very good card. This is a solid great one. Uh, it does help out in a lot of situations, especially in the early game. Getting the right cards into your hand is always good. The top stacks. Yep. So, uh, yeah, I can, I can take a look at the card, block my opponent, or... <laughs> well, it's not really surprising when I hit the trigger, but... The fact that I can, I can bluff my opponent into overguarding makes it a favorable card and maybe I give her a little bit too much credit, but hey, mind games for fun. <laughs> and three stride fours. Because I run eight great trees and I don't want to bump this up because the great ones slots yeah. are really tight. Also, you don't want to write here. Um, here. Yes, and, and the something that's always funny. I found out during matches today was I already had a deer in hand and I want actually wanted to ultimate stride the next turn, but I forgot to play here him to secure him from hand mm -hmm. um, and when I want to rewrite Susana O I can secure the next copy also with the stride folder mm -hmm. makes it a favorable card to play for the triggers I play 
for Psychic Birds, for Nikkei's, Crits for Life, yep. Um, I played two of the draw PGs because I want to have a split in the in the Guardians. It's good for the mirror match. Really good for the mirror match, we found that out today. Um, not really, and in a deck that's already heavy on draw power and filtering, I don't want to run for draw PGs because, well, why should I run for draw? Triggers in a deck that's already fast. Draw, draw. Yeah, draw for draw, but uh, deck out is also a thing. Um, I play three stands. Is handy for in the early game, and sometimes I want to play it in the late game, but that's only when my hand is really garbage. Mm -hmm. um, it goes into the soul, so it gives my soul blast engine a bit of a boost. Why, why, why don't you agree? No, JD, don't. why don't you agree? No, he is, he is looking at you, butchering some cards. <laughs> I don't agree with you the way you open. He, you're molesting cards. Can molesting I call the police, cards. please? Yeah. Okay. Um, for heal triggers, we call heal triggers. Don't touch. <laughs> uh, opening. Uh, yes. Martin's uh, deck. Sensky's deck. Where's my police? So Prepare there will be. Uh, dimensional police. You. Yes. yes. So you. for the. G units for the best girl <laughs> because you cannot win without her. This because one, by the way, is without still water, the deck really skill. falls blank. Wrong skill. Um, okay. She's really good, but sometimes I hate it because um, it, it, the because you're giving your opponent such a hard guard restrict. The your opponent hand is not degree, decreasing. So once you fin once you start with her, you have to finish with her mm -hmm. as well. Because when the moment you step down from Stillwater, your opponent can guard every attack you throw yep. at him. The, the, the smart thing about uh, playing Stillwater is don't let your opponent force you until using her first skill. Uh, the less you use her first skill, the better you are off because you want to use her at least three times if needed. Normally, she would finish the game off the first time or the second time you use her. But don't uh, use her skill if you don't need to. If you have enough cards in your hand, don't use it. If you want to get to your GB3, then it's understandable, but otherwise, don't use it. Yes. Um, and she has a really nice interaction with some other cards in the G zone. Um, I play one of the Kuba Susanoo, one of the GB8, and one of her because she can flip a Cray Elemental. Mm -hmm. uh, she, she provides on hit pressure for the first stride, um, makes it a decent card. And the fact that she can soul charge gives my Salt Blast Engine a bit of a boost, and she can counter charge, so that lowers the cost of other units. Then for the engine, I play Marindol, Seabreeze, and Blizzard, all the way around. <laughs> <laughs> um, why, why not two Marindols? Um, why not? Seabreeze uh, gives, gets more power in the end. Blizzard. Blizzard? Why Blizzard? Blizzard gets more power in the end. But he casts a counter blast. Yeah, but... I have, I have my engine. I have every deck, but he doesn't know Seabreeze. I only have, <laughs> I have, only have one Marindol, so yeah. I could also play the 10k uh, supporter in Crater Mental. It's only present here because I flip it with um, Steelwater. And the fact that I can flip three main units and some other units. G Guardians. G Guardians. Don't spoil the fun. <laughs> um, gives tier an at least a counter charge four or five in some cases. Okay. Depends on how long the game is. Going. Interesting. Um, one Ultima because Ultima. <laughs> Ultima. Ultima. Or Lord and Savior. <laughs> some I can I can set up Ultima in the early game by s sending stand triggers to the bottom of the deck, so I won't hit them in the early phase of the game. Mm -hmm. um, Something that always that I found funny is that I can call tier from Ultima, so I can provide and counter charge two or three during my uh, stride phase. So I can choose to uh, do the stride skill of Susano afterwards if I need it. Irata. <laughs> um, and the ability to restand your full field with Silent Toms is a bit too much. Then. One dismal because I like to protect my silent toms. And mm. G Guardian, which is a crane mental. And a G Guardian, which is a crane mental, which helps in the engine. And one tech choice, uh, Colburn. 
Um, most of the Oracle Think Tank Guardians don't hit for uh, for 41 or higher. So you, mm -hmm. if you are faced with an attack that goes for 46, you need to put some extra effort in it. Um, so I like to discard one card that's used to me for the cold burn power instead of well wasting a card that I would like to use mm -hmm. uh, but use it to guard. Um, it's only dependent on your opponent's hand size, but if you're playing in premium format, most of the hand sizes are out the ass, so not really a problem regarding. Also remember, you are guarding, so your opponent is attacking, and that's when they normally have more cards in hand, so yes. uh, that's when this card becomes in hand. But it's only a Vanguard only. Yeah. That's the only downside. Yeah, so it's uh, off to the direct check. Yes. It's an auto ability, right? Yes, yeah, it's, it's an auto ability. Not the continuous, yep. otherwise it would have been better. Yep. Um, so yeah, it's only Vanguard, but sometimes it provides for extra guards. Um, one of Apex, because I can flip another Cradle Metal G guard uh, for the cost to secure my counter charge engine in the end. Uh, I can send one other card to the bottom of the deck to secure something else in the end. So it all, it all depends on what you hit on the top card of your deck or the top two. Um, but you can set up some spicy plays in, for late game. And two of Amaterasu G Guardians, because she's way too good. She can give me another soul charge for the engine. I can chuck top card, I can send it to bottom or leave it, and she gains a free 10k shield. So yeah, that's basically the deck. You're not uh, running the... Um... Metal Sister? Yeah. Metal Sister. Nah. Cost a counter blast, and I want to choose which card I draw. The the draw the the the, the five k boost in shield value is or in Jesus time, so it's not really necessary, in my opinion. Jesus time, the <laughs> Yeah, I, I disagree as well, but it's okay. It's okay. I, I would pick <laughs> this card up to put the other one in. Don't mess with the engine. It works. <laughs> he plays one tier. The engine, he plays one fucking tier. And it, and it works. <laughs> I haven't Next found... up, the real OTT deck from hell. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> and, then, and then they will show make only standards. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that is the deck profile. Um, I find the deck quite amusing. I'm not used to playing Oracle Ting Ting, so... Well. The mirror match keeps being a pain in the ass. <laughs> For it the was... washers. It's and a thing they ask for the watches. Even for the players. <laughs> it's like you're fapping around till you get to Silent Thompson on the field. And then you hope your opponent doesn't have any protect markers. Yeah, exactly. Or hit any triggers because otherwise the attack would be a double intercept. Yeah. So yeah, that is the my take on the Oracle Think Tank deck. I okay. hope you liked it. Um, we, will, we will be featuring this in a future match maybe. Yep. Sometime in the future. Depends on the time we have. Against? Hmm. Me. <laughs> yeah. so what you will uh, be playing? Uh, I will be playing my Tsukiyomi premium deck. Oh, so we'll, you will be playing Tsukiyomi? I will be playing Tsukiyomi. Oh, we will do this match today. <laughs> I will come face match. And I guess we can try... Yeah, we're here, we're, then we're here until the end of the universe. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's okay with me, it's my home. <laughs> and we can try it against... Well, I can pay, I can get Mega Colony against yeah. Tsukiyomi, yeah. but um, yeah. oh, we could also do the Tsukiyomi deck. Yeah, that's up next. That's up next. Okay, so that's it for Chris today. Yes. Thanks for the deck profiles, and You're thank welcome. you guys for watching. And see you next time. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. <laughs>